the number one thing that brings people together is food. So we, were, we thought, okay, we can talk about science and have a little food, and so Science Snacks was born. Everybody welcome to our science show, cause we're gonna teach you what you need to know, chemistry, biology, physics, and more. Grab your lunchbox and see what's in store. Science Snacks! This all came about during COVID last year. We noticed that there was a um, need for scientific videos for students, especially in early elementary years. And since it was a need that we felt like we could fulfill, we decided to embark on creating the Science Snacks program. Welcome back to Science Snacks. We're in the snack lab and we are ready to investigate our snack for life cycles with our butterflies. Amy, what are we doing today? Today we're doing a butterfly to go zip tie to go snack. That way you can take your snack outside and look for the butterflies. The NEF grant process was really easy for us to do. It is a tradition in Northwest ISD to be aware of what NEF is and the um, opportunities it creates for our students. Oh wait, it smells wait, good. I see something. <gasps> You've got a butterfly body, Miss Kelly. Good job. I've got a butterfly wings in the abdomen. Through our grant brigade, our executive director called us down to the boardroom thinking we had a meeting. And so we come down all prepared for our, our meeting and the grant brigade was there and surprised us with our phenomenal large check here that we have. Uh, we were so excited and so surprised. There was a representative co serve there also um, to talk to us about the grant. And we were so appreciative and so excited we couldn't wait to get started. We really started looking at all of the other ways we could make this grant applicable to more people within the district rather than our kind of our minimal mar uh, target market that we originally started with. And our intentions were that if we did have to respond again to remote learning, that we had tools that allowed Kelly and I together or separately to showcase science um, in our homes, outside, in the lab, in the field, wherever we were going to be so that we can do it in-person learning, but then also if we were going to be in remote. You can go to our snack recipes list and it'll have each snack for each episode. And you know, without the NEF grant, um, kind of looking at where would we be right now without this grant from CoServe and NEF, um, we would probably just still be filming with our, our iPhone um, and not able to produce the video's quality and the amazing lo different locations that we have the opportunity to film in without this grant. It would be, um, it would look like a selfie video yes. <laughs> realistically um, and it might not be as engaging for students to watch due to quality. I like how you combine two very good things, snacks and science. Maybe one day we launch this out to other neighboring districts or possibly um, we go viral and then we start our own YouTube show. Like that could be, that would be like the pie in the sky type of deal. <laughs> YouTube to Netflix. There we go. Straight. Let's, let's just go straight to Netflix. Straight to Netflix. Straight Netflix show. Science Snacks. Oh, that's totally going in the video.